Hi everybody, John Craig here with Performance Plus Tennis. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to improve your serve right from home. Today's lesson is a follow-up on the lesson we did earlier on how to improve your ground strokes and your volleys from home. So make sure you check that one out as well. And if you stick around until the end, we have a free gift for you that's gonna help you improve your skills at home on all the fundamentals that you wanna learn and master to achieve your full potential in tennis. So the first drill we're gonna work on to build our serve and improve our serve at home is working on the ritual. And for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know I'm a big believer in creating and building a meaningful ritual to help you build your serve skills and get the rhythm and the feel of entering into your serve. So I'm just gonna set up here in my imaginary baseline in my setup, and I'm gonna do my routine. I'm really serving. And I'm going to go from routine to routine, just to get the feel. Next up, we're going to move from the ritual into the transition into starting the serve itself. And this is such a critical area of the serve to get right. This is where I find that most players struggle and, and the serve actually starts to go wrong. So you can really improve and refine this when you're at home. So entering into my ritual again. And then I'm going to shift my weight back and get steady on the back foot. I'm going to stay there and practice just lifting the tossing arm to the point of release while my body stays dead still. Yeah. And you'll notice that the racket is sitting right here behind me, and that's really about the same place the racket's sitting when I let the ball go here as well. So there's a little connection between the ritual rhythm and position of the hands and the actual start of the serve itself. So if you do this five or six times and just stay dead still and keep your eyes on the line of the point of release, it'll start to build that muscle and give you the feel here for controlling that movement upward, okay? And then after that, I can go into the, into the actual release of the ball. So here, and I'm gonna practice trying to get that ball to come back to my hand, okay? Shift back, look at the point of release. Ah, better, good. Again, remember this is the stage in the serve where you can determine pretty quickly whether you have a good ball placement or not, because your left hand is gonna be your guide for ball toss accuracy. And then what you can do is you can just go right into your trophy position. So now instead of stalling and not getting in the trophy, I'm gonna go all the way there. And I was ready to play that ball. So I'm down in my legs, I got a good strong balance. My, my, my weight is neutral over both legs. I've got a really good alignment to really develop power from and the ball was coming right back into my hand. This is a great exercise that I recommend to my students all the time. If they take five minutes a day and they do this exercise in 10 second intervals, they'll actually practice it 30 times. Every 10 seconds, place, trophy position. Ah, I could have played it. Come down, do it again. So, if I do this for five minutes in 10 second intervals, that's 30 a day. I do that for 30 days, 900 of these, I'm gonna be pretty skillful at getting into a good strong trophy position and having a ball that I can play almost every single time. And when you're practicing this, I don't expect every ball to come right back to your hand. So what should we do if the ball does not come back to the hand is just settle right into your trophy position, let the ball fall away and bounce twice before you pick it up. So I'll deliberately toss the ball away And now we'll go get the ball, okay? The tendency for most people is to go like this. But I didn't get anything out of that attempt. So if the ball doesn't come back to my hand and I go to the trophy position, I practice something meaningful. So be disciplined about that. Let's not catch the ball unless it comes right back to your hand. And if it doesn't, just settle right into your trophy position and that'll help you out quite a bit. The next drill is beginning to work on the swing itself. And I find that you can really improve your swing and practice it a lot without the ball, and it really does help. I think of the ball as being sort of like music to a dancer before a dancer knows their choreography. So we're gonna practice the choreography of the serve here and take the music out of the equation. So once I've done my routine, I'm gonna hold the ball, go into my trophy position, 
And in this position, I'm gonna feel that good, strong balance. Like I could sit in here and feel like I've got a lot of energy stored and I can make a very strong coordinated movement to play the swing onto the ball. So from here, I'll do it again. I'm gonna to go to my trophy position. And now I am gonna feel the, the skill and the range of motion to go from trophy to contact, to contact, okay? I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna look at the ball though, the imaginary ball. Team, trophy, full range of motion and contact. And this is a vital area of the serve, how you get your body to coordinate and sequence to get the swing to become a natural movement that generates energy into contact. So with a little bit of practice, you can start to get the feel of that. See that? I can get the feel slow, quick, and I can monitor how relaxed I am and how deep I can get my back scratch position to be natural and go up. In this next drill, we're gonna work on pronation. And for a lot of you, pronation is a difficult thing to develop. And what a perfect time being at home and having the time to work on your serve choreography and all the technical elements to really build these habit patterns into your serve. So as a follow-up from the last segment here where we were getting to contact at this stage, what I want you to feel at this point is that the racket is going to advance forward and rotate to the side so that it looks more like this. So if you go slow, come on edge, turn into the ball and then turn it over, you're getting that racket head acceleration to go much faster than your arm can actually move. So you're getting these elements to come together to accelerate the racket head through the ball. And it's, this is the position you really should be in before the arm comes down and then it'll come down. But the racket head is definitely going to advance past the hand and then come down, okay? Slow, quick, slow. Slow, quick, slow. So this will take the force out of your swing and allow you to increase the racket head speed and really help you develop a lot of these concepts through repetition and feel. And finally, you can have a little fun and put it all together. If you have a wall or a garage side of your house or a garage door that you can safely practice your serve into, you can put all the pieces together and have a lot of fun. And the good part is you can just practice, stay loose, stay relaxed, get a lot of repetition in. I'm gonna step back a little further, do an imaginary routine and play the ball. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson today. I had a lot of fun making it for you. I think it can really help you improve your serve here while we're spending more time at home. So take advantage of this time and see if you can really improve your serve. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here if you've not done so already. Give us a like, leave your comments down below. And if you have a topic you'd like us to cover here uh, on, on YouTube, please let us know. We'd be happy to make a video for you. And don't forget to click on the link down below to gain access to our library of lessons on our website, which covers all the fundamentals that you need to master to achieve your full potential in the sport. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.